Class, and welcome back for another Flex Time Review. In today's review video, we are going to be talking all about infant reflexes. As always, a link for a worksheet can be found in the description box if you'd like to follow along. And with that being said, let's get started. Now before we do get into some specific infant reflexes, I do think it is very important to make sure that we have a proper understanding of what exactly a reflex is. A reflex is just going to be any action performed as a response to a stimulus without any conscious thought. Baby doctors will often time check reflexes to make sure that the brain and nervous system are in working order. So not only are we going to learn about baby reflexes in this video, but we're also going to take a look at why it is important to check these baby reflexes. And luckily for this video, our assistant, little baby Kennedy, is going to help us out and demonstrate some of these reflexes for us. Starting with the tonic neck reflex. As you can see, Kennedy is sound asleep right now. Wore out with some tummy time earlier. The current position you see Kennedy in is actually one of our primitive infant reflexes, known as the tonic neck or fencing reflex. You can kind of see that she is resembling the position of a classically trained fencer. On God. With the tonic neck, you're going to see an outstretched arm with a head facing the same direction while the other arm's kind of curled in. Presence of this reflex after about six months of age may indicate some type of developmental delay in the baby. Now, unfortunately for me, to properly demonstrate this next reflex, I had to startle poor little baby Kenny a little bit. Now, watch what happens as I go to pick her up. The behavior that Kennedy just did is referred to as the Moro reflex. The Moro reflex will occur in a baby when it has a sudden loss of support, and it will involve three components. As you just saw, the first thing Kennedy did was stretched her arms out, which is our first component. Then she brought them back in, which was our second component. And oftentimes the baby will cry. Kennedy doesn't because she's a champ. There is a clinical significance to the Moro reflex. It has been shown that lack of the reflex or persistence of the reflex past six months is considered abnormal and can be linked to neurological issues. Our next reflex is going to be the Palmer grasp reflex, more simply referred to as the grasp reflex what we see occur here is that when an object is placed in the baby's palm, the baby will clench its hand and grip the object. This grip is surprisingly strong, yet unpredictable. At times, you feel like the baby could be supporting its own body weight and doing some pull-ups, and other times you simply pull your hand away and they let go. This reflex lasts till about six months of age. I personally think that the significance of the palmar grasp is pretty interesting. Biologists have found that the reflex is very significant and much more frequent in newborns in fur-carrying primate species. The theory goes that the grasp reflex has evolved and was crucial for survival in species where newborns hold on to their mom's fur. If this theory holds true, that means the palmar grasp reflex is very vestigial in humans, meaning that we've retained the reflex even though it's lost all of its evolutionary value. Next up, we have the walking and stepping reflex. We will see that this reflex is present from birth and it will be activated when the sole of the baby's foot touches the ground and we see that the baby will attempt to walk by placing one foot in front of the other. Sometimes we'll even do a nice little dance for you. is going to last for about two months until it becomes more of a voluntary behavior for the baby as they learn to walk. These next two reflexes are very important for survival as they are related to eating. So first I'm going to show you rooting. And I'm not sure if this is how it is with all babies, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of a disclaimer. Kennedy's root is pretty aggressive, so be prepared. What I'm going to do is take this bottle and tap it up against her cheek in order to trigger the rooting reflex. We ready? I think we're ready. Alright babe, go on. And just like that, she goes from a sad baby to a happy baby. Now this rooting reflex lasts to about four months of age, when again, the behavior becomes more voluntary. While rooting does direct the baby to the source of nourishment, the sucking reflex is what allows the baby to ingest the food. When a stimulus touches the roof of the baby's mouth, it will start to suck. This reflex does not develop until about 36 weeks of pregnancy, which explains why babies who are born premature oftentimes have a very weak sucking reflex. Much like some of our other reflexes, the sucking reflex will disappear after four months when it turns into more of a voluntary action. So there you have it, some major infant reflexes that guide newborn baby behaviors. We both wanted to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please feel free to like and subscribe. It's always appreciated and we'll keep you up to date with all my cool videos. We will see you next time. Someone's acting a little fussy, so we are out of here. Peace.